of the lesson that will demonstrate how to create a how-to video using Corel Video Studio X10. Go ahead and search for Corel Video Studio if it's not on your desktop. Go ahead and open up the program. Once it's open, you're going to choose Capture. You're then going to choose Live Screen Capture. Before you start recording, you want to make sure that this right here fits perfectly on whatever you're going to be recording. So I'm going to be recording in Photoshop, so I have to make sure that it fits perfectly with Photoshop so that you don't have excess screen showing up in your video. With that said, you're going to choose the drop down arrow of settings and make sure that you can record your voice. You might test it. Testing one, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. So it's working. That's perfect. Go ahead and close that out and you can start recording by clicking on the record option. With your image in Photoshop, you're going to go ahead and, and fill that in. Again, I went over because the brush size was too big. Because I needed before and after, I will now choose OK. I would then go down here. I would choose Stop. I would then choose OK. In order to add that video to edit, you make sure you choose the Edit option at the top. You would then choose the folder. You're going to locate that. It would be in your Documents on your PC, Corel Video Studio, and that's where it would be. And then choose the video that you want to add to this presentation. You would then drag it onto your timeline. Now you need to see the audio because you're going to need to delete any garbage that you don't want people to hear. For example, I made a lot of mistakes. I don't want that in my video. So I'm going to choose this icon here called the sound mixer and you can see the straight lines are usually breathing or nothing. You want to get rid of that. So if I play it, it's nothing and it's some breathing. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the split clip or scissors. I'm going to select that and delete. I will now keep playing and I'm going to continue to click on the timeline. You need to get that on the timeline, which gets tricky. Again, I'm learning this program as I'm making this video. So to move it, you click on the little arrow and you move it around. As you can see, I'm moving it. I'm going to click there, split it, and then I'm going to move it, split it. If you're not sure, watch, I'm going to go ahead and play it from that point and it's nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and delete it. And you're going to continue to get rid of any unnecessary voice or breathing. I want to point out that this video is 5 minutes and 40 seconds. I'm going to remove a lot of unnecessary video in here because you don't want to put your audience to sleep with breathing and anywhere where you might make a mistake. That's just not professional. So I'm going to continue editing out this information. I also wanted to point out you could zoom in on your timeline by moving the slider towards the plus sign. I like to zoom in when I'm editing. I also wanted to point out that I will often delete and then I'll go a little before that part where I delete and I will play it to make sure I did not remove anything important. You don't want to be deleting and then when it's time to render your movie, you've messed up quite a bit. So make sure before you proceed that you're not making any mistakes. It's a good thing I did that. Even though it's a straight line, I actually deleted some of my voice, which is not good. So I have to figure out what part of the clip I need to delete. So I'll go ahead and play it from there. So that was garbage. This is going to take a lot of practice. Keep that in mind. Now maybe you'll appreciate all the hard work Miss Kameni does when she makes these how-to videos. Another thing you might want to try is go ahead and put the mouse or cursor where you might want to split it. Hit the play button. That right there is where the voice is going to start. So I'm going to split it and then I'm going to select that video and I'm going to delete it. So let's say you're editing your video and it's time to go. You're going to choose File, Save As. I would go to your desktop and if you haven't done so already, I'm going to right click and choose New Folder and I will go ahead and call that How To Video. I will then open up that folder and I'm going to name this Painted Car. I will choose Save. You can then close the program and go to your next class. When you come back the next day, you're going to go ahead and open up that Corel Video Studio. When your program loads, you will choose Edit. You will then choose the folder to 
to open it up, locate it on your desktop, and go ahead and double click on Painted Car. You would then drag it to your timeline, and you can see what I have edited so far. I have a lot more to edit. With the project on the timeline, I'm ready to continue editing. I am going to select the sound mixer so I can see the audio, and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in, make editing much easier. I will continue to delete bad audio so that I have a professional final product. I did want to point out that I selected this area and I was ready to delete it, but I went ahead and I listened to that section. And while listening to it, I actually clipped out a little bit of my voice. So I need to move this over. Do be careful not to delete part of your words. While editing, be sure to do File Save. Just in case something happens, you want to have the most current version of your editing. I can't stress enough that after you delete a section, that you go a little before it and play it so that you don't remove necessary words that could impact the way your audio sounds. So I'll play it. And that was fine. So I'll keep editing. I wanted to point out that if you want to view this editing window, you just scroll down to get this option and then you could drag it and you can go to the side and get that pull option. Might take a few seconds. There it is. And then you drag it out. That way you can see closer what's going on. Once you're done editing, you should go to the beginning of the video. So I'll go ahead and drag this along to the beginning and click at the top. You should probably go through it just to be sure there's no errors, but hopefully you've been checking as you go because after you've deleted certain sections of your video, you wanted to go a little before that to make sure there's no errors. But double check just in case, I'm now going to demonstrate how to add a quick title in front of this video. To add a title at the beginning, you would click on the title tool. I'm going to go ahead and go through these titles and select one that I really like. I will right click on the one I like and I will choose insert to video track. Notice it's at the end. I need it at the beginning. So I'm going to zoom out so I can see the beginning of my track. I'm going to click on that title and I'm going to drag it to the beginning of the video. There might be a better way to do this. At this time, I don't know what it is. If you figure it out, please let me know. There has got to be a better way to add a title. Again, I'm learning the software just like you. So I'm going to come over to the beginning of the track. I will double click on that and change the title at this point. So you double click and you start typing. We have to have the text selected and then you could replace that text. And I'll double click on the last one. In the titles window, you can change the font at this time. You can change the font size. So I'm going to go ahead and play with this right now. To change it, you do have to have it selected. See how I changed that? Of course, I'm not going to use that font. I just wanted to demonstrate how that works. Once you're happy with your title and your movie, you're ready to save it. You would then choose Share. You may have to move this window out if necessary in order to see your options. I'm going to choose MPEG-4. Now again, I don't know about these options here, so I'm going to leave the default. I will change the name to Changing a Car's Color in Photoshop. I'm going to click on the folder to browse for a logical location on my desktop. I do have How To Video Corral, so I'll go to that folder. I will then click Save, and then I will click Start to render that movie. It could take a while, so if the bell is ready to ring for your next class, you might want to render it the next day. When it's done, this window should pop up. Click OK, and I'll go ahead and go to that folder and locate that video. There it is. You can now add this video to your digital portfolio. This concludes the session on how to use Corel Video Studio to make a how-to video. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.